sweetheart. Number 20. There is an innocence component to this. But this feels like, t yeah, this feels like taking advantage of. Uh, it says you've known violence in your life, maybe on the outside, maybe on the inside, with a mind that has tortured you with fear, shame, darkness, and doubt. Enough of that now. It's time for a gentler way. Less pain, more gain, no more torture. It's time, it's your time for sweets and treats. So this is about getting rid of uh, toxicity, purging your life of it, and the, in the closest connections that you have in your life. It's time for a gentler pathway that you have rightfully earned from all the lessons that you have learned in your travels, in your soul journey. Let's see what else goes with the sweetheart. Ah, the energy is gaining momentum. All right. So you just doing you, essentially, and walking along this gentler path, this is where we want to go, is working for you. It's, it's, you it, this is about working smarter and not harder because the energy is gaining for you, not because of your level of productivity. Okay. Okay, let's see what this is about for Taurus. It's that I feel like this reading is for the feminine polarities that are watching. Because this is really shouting a level of receptivity. Um, and that's that's usually the the feminine polarity uh, strength to be not passive but receptive and then things are just brought to her <laughs> so let's see what's happening here alright the devil there's Capricorn energy queen of wands Five of Pentacles, you did walk away from a toxic situation. Page of Wands. King of Wands. Wow. Almost got the whole court here. Just missing the Knight of Wands. There's the High Priestess. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Strength. There's more fire at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is feeling like the Aries reading. This is, yep, third party. Okay. So, this feels like the Aries reading. If you have Aries in your chart, or if your person has Aries in their chart, I highly recommend you watch that video as well. Because this... Although it looks like this connection is over, this your person views you as confident and sexy. Okay. They recognize you as their true pair. Okay. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. You are the one that spoke up your feelings. That's, you are the one that had the strength here. You were the brave one. And this person, your king of wands, had someone else. A long-term with someone else. The ten of pentacles here. Um, and their long-term also popped up here as king of pentacles. And ten of wands, three of cups, putting down this third-party life. It doesn't look like this was... Like this... This didn't get physical. When the two of you were in each other's lives. But then you were the one with the confidence to speak up, to say something. Because you knew. You, you, you know what this connection is. You're, tr you're, you're a true pair. Look, look at this. You know. That's, that's my king. That's my queen. You know. And 
Although there was clearly underlying passion there, and it wasn't that far underlying, let me tell you, if you're showing up as the king of wands, queen of wands with the devil, the page of wands. This is something that was very clear to you both, even though this person had someone else. It doesn't feel like this person... There was definitely an emotional connection. There was there. Yeah, there was an emotional connection. I'm not seeing the phys There was this strong desire for a physical connection. You were the one that they, they were in a stable thing, not necessarily a happy thing, right? But they were in a there. They were or are in a stable thing. You had the guts. You powerful minx, you. To speak up and say, hey, what are we going to do about this? And they look like they left. It's like they left you hanging. So it, there, there was your reason to not stay. Because I see that they, that's it. They physically left. You energetically left. That cause, the, that, that, that's, that's the fear. That's the fear. This was, by you not saying anything, the connection was beginning to turn toxic if it hadn't already. Okay. And that's not. That's not anything that you need. You're, you're, you've learned so many lessons. You're, this is supposed to be something. This king of wands is supposed to bring you this union, right? They're supposed to come in and offer. But they were in something comfortable. Could be a marriage. Could be a live-in situation. There could be kids involved. Who knows? All of your situations are going to be a bit different. But when you had the confidence to say, to say what it is that you know, you know for a fact that you're supposed to be together, the two of you. This one freaked and physically left. You emotionally and energetically left. And when that happened, he felt it. Okay. You could have not said anything to this person since that. But don't, and you probably have not heard from him because I'm, I'm not seeing communication on their part. I'm seeing you doing the work that they should have been doing. They may have not said anything since, but don't hear me when I say they felt it when you left. They may have physically left, but energetically they were still siphoning from the connection. Okay. And that, that's something that you would most likely feel when they're either yearning for you, thinking of you, or going through great stress. And when they go through great stress, they siphon from that connection because it's so nourishing, right? And that also helps the connection turn toxic as well for it being one-sided, right? Okay, let's get some clarification here. Let's clarify this devil first. Because what energy? Oh, there's the sun. A lot of fire energy. A lot of passion here. What is this energy gaining momentum? What is this devil energy? Two of Cups. Tower. Scorpio energy. Judgment. King of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. One more wants to come out. Justice. Ten of Wands. This person is leaving their thing with a water sign. They're leaving, yeah, they're leaving their thing. They're leaving their current situation. Okay. It is getting blown up. This previous agreement with a spouse sort of energy. There's, there's kids. Or the payoff in the divorce. Wow. That has been a burden. There's some serious healing that this person 
this this is a destined this is this to end this relationship is a destined thing this is a karmic relationship for this person okay okay so they're going through some stuff heartbreak heartache okay so if this is the current situation that their previous contract is blowing up them wanting to come back around to you and balance the situation. Hmm. All right, let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Two of Wands. Sun. Yeah, you're you're not looking back. You're looking forward. You're looking for partnership. You're looking towards your happiness if you're not pursuing it actively already. It looks like you are though. All the wands, all the fire energy. You're just full of it. Like you're just crushing life right now. All of your goals. Just boom, 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 boom. Like you don't even see this other person. Okay, page of wands. Let's clarify the page of wands. Seven of swords. Hangman. Six of pentacles. You called this person out on their crap, on their shady behavior, breadcrumbing, you know, giving to two people, and the realizations that you've had about it. And it feels like you, you, this is kind of the final conversation in that it's kind of like, it feels like this was like a mic drop sort of thing. Like, well, you, and boom, out the door. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, hey. Okay. Hi, priestess. What it is that, what is it that you know? What is it that you know? Four swords. Six cups. That, that this connection needs to be healed. Okay, five of pentacles. Let's clarify the five of pentacles. You know this is a soulmate. You know that there's a possible return. Seven of wands. Knight of cups. You are going to fight off their off love offer coming in. King of Wands. Three of Pentacles wanting to work on this. They've realized. Nah. Oof. So they're trying to. They are being divinely supported as they transition to being single. They want to restore balance to this as well. They want to actively work on this. They're really attracted to you. I mean, I know I said that in the beginning, but they're really attracted to you. And Ten of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Strike. There it is again. Fool. Five of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. They they want to win this. Magician. Oh, hoo hoo. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo hoo hoo. Magician. Death, Emperor, Empress. Wanting to manifest the out of making this happen. True pair situation. Yeah, watch the Aries reading. This came up again. This came up again, too. There was a true pair situation, but I believe it was King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Funny how you're the one that gets the wands for the Aries reading, and then Aries gets the Pentacles from the Taurus. That is needed in the Taurus reading. Interesting. Okay. So this person, you being the sweetheart, getting to sit back, the, it's gaining momentum because this person is now seeing that you are not coming towards them at all. They're going to actually. What comes after the rejection of the Knight of Cups? Uh, 
<laughs> remorse. Ah, uh, healing and the world. Whoops. Let's move that over so I don't get ash on my cards. So this is kind of incredible. So they're going to come in with their offer of love and you're going to just block. You're going to swipe what left. They are going to be so incredibly sorry. This is the opportunity to... It, it is meant for this person to... It's not that they're meant to be rejected. But they are meant to feel... To see the truth of the pain they caused you. And I see as the star being kind of like the night light, like the flashlight sh pointing, pointed at the truth of what happened to you in this situation. Like, do you, do you see that? Do you see, do you, did you see that? Did you see that? Did that? And that, and that, and that, that, that. And that is a moment of healing for you both as well. That's where the world, this is getting resurrected. Judgment and the world. This person has realized a lot while the two of you have been away. They fear losing you and they're ready to get out of complacency to, in order to take the risk to move forward. Because this, this is the desire for a win. Okay. Full five of swords. Ace of pentacles. You seem to be in a bit of an agreeable energy, like you would entertain this conversation when this person comes back around. Um, I only, I don't see very many of you f rejecting this person forever. But at least having the conversation, you may, you may say no to a relationship, but I don't see many of you saying no to a conversation. Because this is an, this feels like an opportunity to have, like the both of you come to the table with your halves of what happened and then fit them together to find out where they overlap. Because where they overlap is where it is the universal truth of the connection, of the connection, of the connection.